differentiation the quotient rule. So we're given the function h of x. So the first we're going to do is split up or define our functions. So f of x. So we're going to take the numerator. And then g of x, we're going to take the denominator. So we have root x minus 2. So now we're going to just rewrite these. So we're going to write them uh, with the derivative. So the derivative of the function of x, so this is going to be minus 28x to the 3 minus 18x to the 5. So g, uh, function g, so if to take the derivative of this, so we're going to rewrite x to the half, so that's going to be a half x, and then we're going to minus a half. And then minus 2, that's gone. Now the quotient rule. Can be written. So to find the derivative of h, we're going to take the derivative of f, multiply it by the function g. But this time we're going to minus, so we're going to take the original function and multiply that by the derivative of g. And this is all going to be divided by uh, the function g of x. And then we're going to square that. So we need to substitute in our values and our functions to what we have. So h, so the derivative. So we're looking at, uh, first of all, we want the derivative of f. So this is going to be minus 28x cubed minus 8x to the 5. And this is multiplied by g of x. So g of x is going to be, and we've, uh, we're going to write, rewrite this actually. I'm just going to rewrite this as x to the half. So x to the half minus 2. And then this is minus. So we're going to work this out first. And then we've got f of x. So f of x is going to be minus 7x4 minus 3x to the 6. And the derivative of x is a half x to the minus a half. So we're going to work these out separate. And then we need to divide it all by g of x. And g of x is x to the half minus 2 all squared. So let's have a look what we need to do next. Okay. So we're looking to find the question. Okay, so the question is asking us to find the equation of a line at um, x is equal to 1. So we need to find the equation of the tangent line. So this is going to be at x is equal to 1. So we can substitute in our values now of x is equal to 1. So we're going to have h of x minus 28 times 1 cubed is going to be just minus 28. Uh, 1 to the power of 5 is just 1, so it's going to be minus 18. And this is going to be multiplied by 1 to the half, so the square root of a half is just 1. So this is going to be 1 minus uh, 2. And then all of this is going to be minus, so let's have a look at the next bracket. So we've got minus 7, minus 7 multiplied by 1, so that's just minus 7. And then we have minus 3 multiplied by 1, so it's going to be minus 3. And this is multiplied by a uh, half well, times 1 to the root of 1 
divided by one, so that's just going to be a half. So multiplied by a half, and this is all divided by. This is going to be divided by, so 1 to the half, so a half of uh, root of 1 is just 1, so that's going to be 1 minus 2, and that's going to be squared. So, what do we have? So, so minus 20. Eight um, minus eighteen, so that's going to be minus forty six multiplied by one minus two. This is minus one, and this is minus. So we've got minus seven minus three is minus ten minus and plus. So that's going to be plus ten multiplied by a half so 10 times a half so we've got 46 plus 5 so our derivative our value at 1 is going to be 51 so this is our slope m so now we just need our equation so the tangent line, so we've got m is 51, a or x is 1 in the question, y, so if we substitute our values into the original function, so we've got minus 7 minus 3, and then we've got the root of 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. So we'll have, let's just write this down. So to find y, it's going to be minus 7 multiplied by 1, minus 3 multiplied by 1, divided by the root of 1 minus 2. So Minus 7 minus 3 is going to be minus 10 divided by minus 1, which is going to be 10. So y will be 10. And let's just substitute it in. So y is going to be equal to 51 x minus 1 plus 10. And there is our equation of the tangent line.